An anonymous questioner says, what's the concept of voting in Islam? How to choose if all the candidates are non-Muslims or one is a Muslim and he's corrupt, but his opponent is a non-Muslim, but fair. First of all, democracy is un-Islamic. So you have to believe and understand this. The concept of democracy, the concept of voting is totally un-Islamic. It is against the religion of Islam to have a parliament session where they want to cast a ballot or a vote over the consumption of intoxicants or opening brothels and, where, uh, and whorehouses, prostitution, or on the permissibility of usury or teaching homosexuality, this is democracy, whatever the people want. Subhanallah, this is totally against Islam. In a funny clip I saw in an Arab country claiming to be Muslim, that they are voting on selling wine and intoxicants in the country. So they're giving their votes, they're giving their votes, and then the head of the parliament says, we will adjourn this session because now it's time for Adhan al-Asr and we will convene afterwards. <laughs> what Adhan and what Asr are you guys talking about? You're totally going against the religion of Allah. Allah tells you that intoxicants are prohibited, so avoid it. May you prosper. And you say, mm, we'll, we'll see what the people want. If you see what the people want, that goes against what Allah wants, this is blasphemous. So the concept of democracy and voting in general is not accepted. And, and why do I say in general? Because sometimes it can be accepted as forms of shura, of consulting others, which is not binding, but we take their uh, um, decision and consider it. For example, in my family, I'll gather the children, hypothetically that is, and ask them, I want to buy a new car. I have this car and I have this station wagon. Which one do you think is best? And they give their votes and I tell them, okay, I'll go with the majority. There's no problem in that. This is not voting on an issue that concerns the whole ummah or that is related to religion in selecting who leads the country, because this is related to religion. It's not for the general masses to choose. Sometimes they vote for an actor. They vote for a prostitute. A, a, a member of the parliament was voted and she was a porn star. What is this? So, well, this is what the masses want. So if the masses come tomorrow and say, we would like to legitimize incest. A man can marry his wife, uh, his, his daughter or his sister. And we would, the people say there's nothing wrong in that. This is blasphemous. When they channel and legalize same-sex marriages or LGBT or homosexuality, and they enforce people to learn it at school. This is blasphemous because they are challenging the, 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 the law of Allah. They're challenging Sharia. Ah. And for Muslims, this takes you out of the fold of Islam. But as I stated that democracy is out of the question. If I live in a country, unfortunately, that believes in democracy, and they're calling people to vote. And when we look at the candidates, we find that there is a corrupt disbeliever and a Muslim who is trying to do good. I know that this process is wrong, but if I don't put my weight behind 
the Muslim candidate. And if all Muslims stay back and refrain from voting, the corrupt disbeliever would win. In this case, to ward off the worst of the two evils, I have to vote. Not that I believe in the system, but rather just to minimize the damage. And likewise, if I have a corrupt Muslim, he's a Muslim, but he's corrupt. Like some of the leaders in Muslim countries who claim to be Muslim, yet he goes to Hindu temples, he goes to the Buddhist temples, he wears like them, he dances like them, he acts like them, and he says that this is part of the job description. A'udhu Billah. He's corrupt. And I have a non-Muslim who is well known, his track record is being fair, being honest, being clean, and he would do well for the country. Definitely, I would tell you, vote for the non-Muslim. Because this corrupt Muslim would only deteriorate Islam in our country.